Hey Internet, this is Gunter with Mini Mishaps Games, and today we have got an experiment for you. We are going to be seeing if we can paint a mini with just highlights and washes. Alright, so, coming into this video, some of you know that my character in my D&D campaign acquired a llama and uh, recently, actually when we did our dollar crawl discount finding on the 26th and 7th, I, uh, Frybox64 found this bag of old toys at an antique store and it had the llama in it and so we're gonna paint it. Um, so the question is being asked, can you do the painting without uh, layering and without the main um, base coats and things like that? And this is actually also a good chance to talk about how to do fur because I think miniatures and models that have fur constructed into them are a great time to do this set of techniques. So I went with a bone white, which to me looks kind of like the tan that a lot of llamas and alpacas uh, are, and I got to spend some time among llamas when I was in Ecuador. And uh, it's just really cool to see how the highlights pick up the fur on this kind of... Now this is, this is a, a cheap plastic toy and you know the the legs weren't straight enough to stand up on its own so it needed a base and and just very basic like you would get like farmyard animals barnyard animals farm animals you know what i mean except this one happened to be a llama and that packet came up with some other cool little minis that went in the big box of random as well um but this uh so here's the highlighting and i really like how the tan so the primer is gray, the original llama was not gray, but the primer is gray. So technically, it's prime, highlight, and wash. And, uh, but I really like how this bone white turned out for the, the tan that, that is sort of, and the gray, the gray and the tan. And while this is an experiment on what the fur will look like, I did end up painting the, um, the nails, the, the hooves, the clip cloppers. I ended up painting those a bone white as well. And since there was not any fur sculpted into the head, the head became mostly white as well because the highlighting just sort of emptied the paintbrush uh, and the head sort of became a uniform tan, uh, which worked out because there was also not fur on the belly. Um, I don't know if that was just the process or how it was designed. And so it ended up being that it went from tan to mix tan and gray back to tan again, which was a completely realistic uh, order of colorings for a llama, even though this obviously is going to be in no way realistic. And it's kind of giant for my, my character, but that also makes it a little extra awesome that he's sort of a great llama or a dire llama or some sort of, of excessive llama. So next up, once it's dried for that um, highlight. Then we're gonna go back, and I just have a big tube of dollar store black craft paint that I just douse. I just saturate with a bunch of water, and that becomes my wash. And uh, it works pretty good for most things. I'm not above washing down other colors, but the the black against mundane colors like tan and white seems to really kind of make that for pop out a little bit better. Uh, so you can see I just take old paint water because it's not like the black is going to turn all the colors. Yep. And I, for my washes I essentially just pull it along the paper until it recedes again and that generally gives me the idea that it will recede on the plastic down into those recesses. And it works so good on the fur here. So you can see just instantly that black shows up in between the tan 
and um, doesn't doesn't stay out on the on the high points and pulls down into the into the valleys of the model there. Um, so I was very very happy with how this turned out, and I don't know if I would recommend it for models that had clothing and armor and all that stuff. Although, spoiler alert, I may someday give this llama armor. Um, just a fair warning. Um, but it works for the fur because of that kind of gradient tones between the tan and the gray. Um, so washing on other um, creatures and animals, I might go with a dark red or a dark green or something like that. But, uh, but the black works really good on, on fur. Uh, kind of animals. Anything where you want to really pull those uh, highs and lows to, to have some contrast there. So there it is. There is the full and complete llama. Looking good. Looking like he's got fur. Got some got some wool there. And uh, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you have, go ahead and like and subscribe. You can support us on Patreon. And uh, we will keep little these tips and tricks videos and keep on coming and, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much internet.